people often ask, is it fear or is it intuition? And that can get really confusing sometimes. So in this video, I want to talk about the differences between when your rational mind is going on a fear track and when you're actually receiving an intuition. I'm here in Acapulco and I'm going to mute out a little bit of the background noise so that you can hear me better, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of the view, the amazing Pacific Ocean right now here in February. So as a general rule, when you're ruminating on something, when you're churning and going over and over something, that is not the intuition. That's usually the rational mind rationalizing the fear. It's like your mind got hijacked by fear and now it's just creating all these scenarios. But if you pay attention, you can notice that's actually your rational mind making those rationalizations. That's not coming from intuition. Ruminating fear is the temptation to not go after what you want in life. So it's really important to be able to distinguish ruminating fear from actual intuition. Because if you let the ruminating fears take over, you're not going to take action in life. That ruminating fear is an invitation from the enemy to give up to not be self-directed, to put your head down, to slave away, or to otherwise drift in life. Intuition comes like a sudden download, this sudden insight, revelation out of nowhere. And it usually happens when you're doing something else. Maybe you're brushing your teeth, you're washing the dishes, you're walking somewhere, you're cleaning the house, and then all of a sudden, you just know. You just have this sense. You don't know why you know, but you know. That's intuition. That's how you tell the difference between what you're thinking and what you're receiving in terms of messages, insights, downloads, revelations. Thinking is not receiving. Receiving is when it's instantly downloaded. So what happens when you don't listen to your intuition? Often, you're going to end up feeling stuck somewhere in your life. And when you're not listening to the intuition, you're not giving yourself the opportunity to tap in. Maybe you're ruminating on those kinds of fears and that's keeping you paralyzed. What often happens is you get sick, you get injured, you get some kind of pain and that knocks you out in bed for a period of time. Then you're forced to feel and pay attention because there's nothing else you can do but lay in bed. You don't have the usual energy that you have for your distractions, for your certain habits that keep you out of contact with your intuition. So when you get sick or injured or suddenly develop pain in times like that, it's often an opportunity to break through because in that moment, you're forced to listen to your body for how many of her days or weeks or even months if it's really bad. The only thing you can do is lay in bed, listen to your body and think. It gives you the opportunity to reflect on your life, to get a shift in perspective in your life. And the sad thing is there is no breakthrough when you're indulging in distractions. And those distractions are really hard to leave by themselves. So when we don't make the choice to do that, Life will often offer us that opportunity in the form of illnesses, injuries, and pain. So maybe you notice when you get sick, injured, or in pain, you're trying to fight it. And maybe you notice your inner dialogue and it's lamenting, why? Why am I sick? Why am I injured? Why am I in pain? Why won't this just go away? And so you fight and you fight and you fight in your head until you reach a point of exhaustion and you surrender to that exhaustion, to the pain, to the discomfort. And suddenly, the downloads break through. Why? Because you're open to them. When your defense mechanisms are down, when you're fighting and fighting and you reach that point of exhaustion and you just stop fighting, you release your defense mechanisms and that's when these downloads can get through. 
it can be a really cathartic experience where you suddenly just burst into tears. And those tears could be grief. It could be that you're finally processing more of the grief. It could also be relief. It could be that you're just so relieved. You have so much gratitude that the tears just burst through. It's like this liberation of stuck energy and emotion. That's what catharsis is. And sometimes this is what happens when we can't get in touch with our intuition. We manifest some kind of illness, injury, or pain to help us get back in alignment. And that's where the magic happens in these moments of catharsis because it's when we can finally look at this old problem that we've been ruminating and going over and tormenting ourselves over and just couldn't find the intuition in there to break through. And then suddenly it's there. We see a whole new perspective of that old problem and now we know how to figure it out. Now we know how to move forward. So when you notice that you're trying and trying to make something work and it's just not working, that's when you want to help yourself and stop. Just stop trying there for a moment and shift your mind into a state of receptivity because receptivity is how we receive intuition, downloads, insights. So you want to shift into a state of curiosity. You can even say something like, show me the way. That's something that I like to say to my higher self, to the universe, when I get stuck, when I don't know what to do, when I don't know what decision to make, show me the way, show me the way, show me the way. Then be open to notice because it will come, not usually right in that moment, but you go about doing things and then there's a moment, there's a conversation with a random person, some interaction, some event that happens and then the sudden shift in perspective comes through. You just know what to do. And keep in mind, the bigger the shift you're trying to make, the bigger change you're trying to make in life, the more fear will come up leading up to that. The more fear will try to stop you. Remember, that is an invitation from the enemy. That's all that is. It will try to talk you out of it. So expect it. Expect that your mind is going to want to go into those rationalizations, the ruminating kind of fear and stop yourself. Recognize sometimes you've just got to take the adventure despite the fear. I almost didn't come here. I almost talked myself out of coming on this trip that I booked a year in advance to meet with some really amazing people. I've never had an experience like this before and I almost stayed home because I almost let my mind talk me out of coming. Instead, what I got was an incredibly cathartic experience. I met some amazing humans. I had some incredible releases of energy and emotion and feeling myself. And I can already tell that this inner shift that's happening right now is going to change the direction that I'm moving forward. So if we miss the adventure, if we don't get on the boat when the boats are leaving, what happens is we miss that opportunity to shift perspective. We stay in those old patterns. We miss the opportunity to have new connections. We miss those messages. We miss the downloads and the insights. So really pay attention when you get into states of fear and you're questioning, is this my intuition or is this my mind? When you're rationalizing, when you're ruminating and you're going over and over something, that's usually just your mind. The intuition will come very suddenly when you least expect it. And you just know, and you necessarily don't have any other proof. You just know that this is what it is and this is what you have to do. So hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give it a like or let me know in the comments below if there's something that you wanna share about your experiences, discerning between that ruminating, mental, rational kind of fear and actual intuition. I would love for you to share that in the comments with others. I'm sending you a big hug.